Yeah, it's lit. Yo, man. my bro. Mr. Mac. Yo, first of all, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's first yelling. of all, I want to tell you this. Listen, I told you this in person before, but yeah. I want to tell you on live to let everybody know I fuck with you. You know why I fuck with you so much? This is one of the reasons why I really started like, nah, nah, I don't give a fuck. Punch is like, you know what I'm saying? Punch, bro, punch. You was with 6 9 from the beginning. Right? Okay. I mean, not the beginning, but you was there when, when it, you know what I'm saying? I saw, I see when it was action time. You, was with him. you was with him, bro. And yeah. I know when he, when that whole shit happened, if you would have just stayed quiet, if you would have <laughs> just stayed quiet and not said nothing, no pick, no sides, and put your morals and principles and put that shit in your pocket and just yeah. waited for him to come home, yeah, you would have been lit, like super, like he would, you would have been the first person he called, yo, punch. Come get me. Yo, Punch, let's make this move. Right now, you wouldn't be on FaceTime with me. You will be over there with him figuring it out. Fact. Money, Money too. But you Money. put that shit, you chose your fucking pride, your, I mean, your integrity, your morals, your principles. You chose that shit over the fucking bag. You're a fucking gangster, bro. You're right. a fucking gangster. I appreciate you so I, much. I don't think I haven't really heard this too much. I really haven't heard anybody say that about you, bro. When I look at you, I see a fucking gangster. I see a fucking G, bro. Motherfuckers wouldn't have did that, bro. Motherfuckers don't do shit like that, bro. Yeah, I, I love you, bro. I, gangster, bro. People, everybody thought that it's like they thought it was for clout, and I'm like, I don't think that they can grasp that I was good with him when he left. One, right. number one, I was good with him when he left. And if you I wasn't one of the people he was saying, yo, fuck, 100%. fuck, buddy. he never said that. I was, I was talking, I spoke to him the day that he got pulled in, just for clarity for everybody. But when it goes down to morals, I literally cannot look at this morally and say, I'm going to still stand by something that I and myself don't believe in to just stay close to the money. And Bro. that's when I made that decision. And I appreciate you for saying it. So Yo, a bro, lot of I just wanted it. to I come control. on here and salute you for that. I know I said that to you in person, but I really want to tell you, and I want to, uh, and, and every fucking interview I do in the next, I'm going to bring that shit the fuck up. Cause <laughs> I love that, you, shit bro. Thank needs, you. that shit needs to be known. People don't do that, bro. People yeah. do not do that. People will sell their fucking soul for a bag. People will put their brother in the fucking, in the line of fire for the bag. You didn't do that shit, bro. And you fucking, to me, you're, you're, you're one of the biggest gangsters I know out here right now. Because that shit is gangster. That was gangster gangster. Like, thank you, I, bro. I appreciate, I appreciate you. I, I love you, bro. I, like, sometimes I be confused. I be like, I don't know what everybody else sees. I get the troll. I get everything. I don't understand what they seeing. You know, I mean, it's straight up and down, man. Morals first. You got to be able to stand on your own. And that would be dirty money, man. I spoke to Shadi yesterday. Like, this is what goes on. People don't understand this. I spoke to Shadi yesterday. I can't be talking to the guys. I spoke to Crippy two days ago. I, I spoke to Kuda B about four days ago. I can't talk to guys that were put in prison because of this kid and then act like, and just act like straight up, just act but like. But you know how many prison. people in this, you know how many people in this industry would have did that, bro? There's people right now laughing under his comments. Every website is posting it, being like, ah ha, look what he wrote. Look, he changed his profile. Look, he did this. Look, all of that. And everybody is doing all of this. And I'm like, y'all are playing into his hand. Y'all are going to allow him to come back home to pillows instead of coming back home to everybody just looking at him like, where are you trying to stand? We're, we're Yo, all bro. welcoming him back. Right. At the end of the day, check this out. I don't give Welcome. a fuck about 6 9 <laughs> He could be the richest man in the world. Or he could die today. I don't give a fuck. It wouldn't really matter. But the, okay. the thing, the thing is, is that what he represents, and you know this. You know what Correct. I mean? It's what the fuck the kids are looking at right now. It's what because look, at the end of the day, he got a big bag. He could hire security. You know what I'm saying? He could bring his mother somewhere. Everybody that he loves, he could protect them. You know what I'm saying? Correct. But these kids out here in Brooklyn. Crenshaw, wherever the fuck they at. There's hoods everywhere. Kids are always going to be in the hood. They're always going to be doing shit like that, right? Yeah. So these kids, these 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds, they're looking at 6 9 Oh, he caught a case. He did all that shit. He joined the gang. He caught a case. And he told, and now he's rich again. Now he came home in a year or two. He's rich. He got money. He got bitches. I could a do year and a half. And that is not 
the fuck? That's not a good fucking representation. That is not the, the government wants that. The government wants this shit, bro. They want this fucking punk motherfucker to be the poster boy of being a fucking rat to make it look cool. So these young kids swear. I got the government fucking our shit up, bro. They don't want us to motherfucking spread this word, this good gospel, you heard? Yo, what I'm saying is, what I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is he represents something that is, like, not good. You know what I'm saying? First of all, what he did was people be saying, oh, he was just a kid. He was not a kid. How old was Thanks. he? You have a better knowledge of that than me. How Takashi old? was 23 when it all happened. Shout out to Kojo. What's up? 23. Let me tell Where's you something. Man? Let, me, let me tell you something. <laughs> when I was, when I was, I was, um, I was, like, at that time, I was in Sing Sing. I was, like, probably, like, 20 years old. I was sitting in the yard, in the big yard, A block yard. I'm sitting on the motherfucking bleachers. And when they opened the gate, they let these three kids come in. They were 16 years old. They looked like babies, babies. Shit. When they came through, we was like, yo, pull up. Come over here. Come over here. Because we always want to talk to the kids when they come in. Pull up over here. Don't go over there. That's the rapos right there. Those are the rapists. Don't go over there. Those are the whatever, whatever. We used to put them on. So when they came in the yard, come mm -hmm. here, bro. Come here. Boom. They pulled up. Yo, y'all 16. One of them had 30 years to life. 30 years of life. He had a body that he didn't fucking commit. He didn't do the body. His man did the body. He took the body. He never told on his man. So Please. I don't give a fuck if, you, if a 16-year-old can understand it, a 23-year-old can understand it. You know what I'm saying? A 16-year-old can understand, like, all right, this is what I joined up, and this is what the fuck I'm going to do. A 23-year-old absolutely, emphatically can fucking understand it. He wasn't no fucking just kid. He was a fucking rat. He's no good. He's disloyal. He just doesn't have the motherfucking morals and the principles that motherfuckers should have when you're entering this fucking game with brothers. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, that's what, now, what I'm saying is, fuck him. What I'm saying is what he represents is kids you can join a gang yeah you can this you can carry a gun Correct. kids you can carry a gun Correct. you can go order somebody to go shoot somebody go go shoot them you can do all of that shit illegal Cause, shit because you, you have money and then they need the money so you're right. using your money to leverage niggas you're using them. so you knew what you was doing you knew it was a crime you did, don't fucking play with me. Oh, I, he was so young. He didn't know. He orchestrated that shit. If anything, he was the brains behind that shit to what I feel because he's pushing He's pushing this way. Go do this. Go do that. Now, now what kids see is, oh, I could do that too. I could join a gun. I could, I could join a gang. I could pick yeah. up a gun. I could yeah. tell people to do that. And then when the shit happens, when the when police the start cracking in, when it hits the right fan. here, they're going to be like, yo, 6 9 did it. So I'm going to do it because 6 9 came back and he got Ferraris, he got trucks, he got bitches, he got money. I can still come back. And he got more followers than he left with. Than he left with. <laughs> and it's, it disgusts me because it's like, yo, bro, this motherfucker. And then, and then this narrative of, oh, um, if you had your baby mother, if your baby, if your man fucked your baby mother, or if people was robbed, where is the proof? Where is the proof? Who is there a video? Is there a video? Hold on. Is there a video of Shadi fucking fucking Sarah? There's no video to my knowledge. Did Let me Sarah tell you the shit that's even worse than did that. Did Sarah say he fucked her? Not at all. Sarah denies it to this. Did day. motherfucking Shadi did Shadi say, say he fucked her? Shadi always says. So no. where's the fucking proof? Who's saying this shit? Who who was there? I personally think it was propaganda. I think it was propaganda, propaganda from like the a start. Motherfucker. But this the other like side of that is the stolen money. Let me tell you something. Shadi got federally indicted. Now, now we know we know niggas that's got federally indicted. The feds, if they come into you, they find in every dollar you ever had. Right. Six nine said that Shadi stole a million dollars from him, and they were indicted five days later. I don't know. So that would have that would have came on in. No, that would have. I don't know where Shadi could have hit a million dollars, my nigga. I'm telling you right now. I don't know where the fuck he could have hit a million dollars. But in five days later, they fucking took it and they indicted everything from it. His bank account, the whole shit, and there was no million dollars. So I don't know where this... And don't... And then for the people that believe everything they hear, it was not cash. These were bookings. So this is definitely electronic transfers. So where are the people that got a million dollars stolen? Why have they not said a word yet? It's all bullshit. Niggas made this shit up to make him a victim, to sell the image that he should be welcomed back into pillows. 
and that we should feel bad to him. We should be, we should feel like every time the press talks about him, they go, he's a kid, he's a kid. No, he's 23 years old. Let me tell you something. A, a kid. child a is fucking 13, kid? 14, Are you 15. seriously? Even 13 16, is a kid. He's cutting the 14, line. 14, 15, cutting that the was line. a kid. 23? Come on, bro. You're a grown ass man. You're a grown ass bro. man. <laughs> you're a grown ass man. You knew what the fuck you was doing when you was doing it. You know what bro, I'm saying? Everybody. I've had endless and, conversations. And with he didn't even I've have been to tell. You told on the fucking second day, you rat bastard. You didn't even have to fucking tell. You could have fucking waited it out to see what the fuck was going on. And I guarantee, I guarantee you would have still did two, three years. Let, let, let's go over that for a minute. So when you go, when, when you, now, if y'all don't know, Mac has done 10 plus years in jail. So this is why, this is another thing. It's not just me talking. This is somebody who's had to, who did his shit, did his dirt, paid his due time, went in there, dealt with it and like a man owned up to what you did correct right correct so now with this being said when everybody is charged with the same exact charge everybody was given the 40 we're all gonna get 40 years shoddy everybody took their plea with takashi's cooperation with him saying he did this he did this he did this he did this with all of that with all of it the worst that anybody got was shoddy's 15 years the worst 15 years, Shadi. So, if nobody told, if nobody told, what would have happened, bro? Takashi would have got, I, I, I'd say on the worst case scenario, Takashi's walking out of jail with four years. Yo, you know, no did, one you, did you hear they about the no biker gang? Like, the biker gang, like, 23 of these motherfuckers, 50 or some shit, got arrested. Correct, from the, the West Coast. Nobody told. And they threw the fucking case out. Listen to what I'm fucking saying. If you're in these streets and you're doing shit, listen to what I'm saying. The strongest, the strongest shit that the feds have is snitches, is rats. They need rats to, to finish off the case. It don't matter what they got. They need the rats to put the person place there. It doesn't matter what else. So what I'm saying, without a fucking rat, the case is that much harder. That's why the, the, the Italians, before before they started turning into rats, they had this mm -hmm. code of a murder. Then the sure. shit started getting crazy. But before that, they couldn't get them. That's why the RICO law came about. You know what I'm saying? With these big ah. ass fucking numbers. That's ah. why. That's when they started breaking and folding and shit. But before that, they, would, they could not get them because they were not talking. So what I'm saying is, if you're going to fucking come in this street shit, which I... I suggest all the kids that's watching leave the streets alone. The shit is not about nothing. It's not about Franks. It's only going to get you to prison. It's only going to get you like all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? Leave the streets alone. Stay the fucking stay the stay stay do do real. There's more you opportunities ain't, you, you ain't now. Gotta stay in school. There's more what? opportunities now. Uh, People got to remember like gang shit for a lot of my older and my peers and my comrades. Yo, there was less options. Y'all kids got so many options. The gang shit and the street shit is just, it's not a valuable option no more. It just don't leave, make sense. Yo, bro, leave the streets alone. Don't fuck with that shit. And let, let everybody saying, oh, China Mac, you cloud chasing, you riding this, you riding his wave, whatever. No, I'm not. Actually, I don't give a fuck about him. What I'm saying is, yo, you see how much I care about the kids, bro. Like when we went into these motherfucking, when we went into the uh, uh, um, Lincoln Juvenile Hall, facility. I called Juvenile. you. I called you. I was Thanks. like, yo, I'm going to go into this fucking juvenile detention center. I want to talk to these kids. I need you to Correct. talk to them because Correct. they're going to listen to you. And what happened, I love that. They didn't pay me a dollar to do that shit. I, I love that shit. And you I know why? Because, you. because, listen, because mm -hmm. when I was fucking 14, 13, I was fucking in one of them homes and I needed somebody to talk to me. I needed somebody to fucking tell me something. Like, yo, tell me something. Like, I needed that. If, I, if somebody would have told me what you would have told them or what I told them, I would have never did that 10 years. I hate every fucking day of me doing those 10 years. I hate that shit, bro. I really fucking hate that shit with a passion. So when I see anybody pushing people in that direction and poisoning their fucking kids, yo, fuck them, man. And that's what I feel like that's the narrative they pushing with this fucking kid right here, bro. They just saying, yo, it's cool. If if they didn't have all this hype, I wouldn't have said anything about 6 9 Fuck him. He could eat a dick. But what I'm yeah. saying is, it's not about him. It's all the people that's going to think that it's cool, bro. And that's what I have a problem with, bro. This let, me, cool. let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let's dig a little bit deeper. We on interview shit now. 
When you're in there 10 years, what happens to brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, especially moms and dads? Because I think a lot of people sometimes go, this is just my thing. I'm going to do my time. Like, what happens to the rest of your family when you're in there? They do the time with you, bro. If they care about you, if they really your family, they do the time with you. You know what I'm saying? My mother caught fucking, my mother did every day with me, bro. My mother caught cancer because I was fucking in jail, bro. My mother caught cancer because I caught her so, I gave her so much fucking heartache, bro. My mother fucking almost died on me. And I would, I don't know how I would have took it if I would have been in jail and I couldn't go see my, I would have to go see my mother in her, in, in her deathbed in handcuffs and shackles. Like, you know what I'm saying? That would be the last picture she would have of me in her fucking life, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like. That shit, when, when you go through that shit, it's not only you doing a bid. It's everybody who loves you. It's your babies. It's your yeah. baby mothers. It's your, it's, your, it's, your, it's your family, your mother. Anybody that love you, they doing a whole bid with you. Because when you're eight hours away, when you're eight hours away, and they Talk jump up me. on a bus Talk for to three Talk days to, to, to go Talk nine to hours away, or if you're Talk in the federal, or if you're in the feds, and you're from Brooklyn, and they got you all the way in motherfucking California somewhere, Ohio somewhere, and they got to go get the, and they can't see you, they can't see you, or, or once in a while, maybe on your birthday, they get on a plane to fly to Ohio to fucking see you, that's fucking, they doing a bid right with you, bro. Yeah. Christmas See, that's, is, they're going to so be thinking strong. about you, bro. Christmas so, is, they're going to be lugging packages to a jail to bring it to you, bro. Birthdays, they're going to spend their lives just for you. And you can't do shit for them. You can't give them a dollar. When 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 they when your mother's rent is past due, you can't go pick up a job and go go put man, you help her bring, help her make the ends meet. You can't do none of that shit. You just a yeah. fucking liability. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, bro, that shit is so strong. I seen Chanel Northside in here. I know that they brother did almost fucking 10 years, too, in the feds. Let me tell you something. I don't think that, I don't think, I, I love that you're doing this. I love it because no one, no one, every gangster in New York has spoke A1 about you. No one can diss your credibility. It's only the little kids that don't know. When you come in and you talk to them, I pray to God, that every, every young person in here that even got a decision to go, I could go left, I could go right, just hear what he said, right? I got to reiterate this. His mom, was, his mom came down with cancer. He would have literally lost his mom while being in jail. The mom got to see him in such a shameful position, coming in with shackles of the whole jail suit. Like, it ain't cool. This shit ain't cool. The problem that he has, the same problem I had, we can't celebritize doing shit in the street and then taking the easier way just because it's easier. And I don't care about anybody saying, I see the comments. I see it. Y'all saying other people snitch. Y'all saying this. Why must y'all blind yourself so much in the fan aspect that you just can't admit that somebody did something wrong and that we really shouldn't support it? The kids don't understand straight up and down. Like when Matt came on his live at the beginning and said, I would have, me, me, I could talk for me. I would have came home to hundreds of thousands of dollars. I would have went on world tour. The kid's going to still do it, like, no matter what. We're not saying he, he can't be successful. It's just the, the bold and the arrogance and the disrespect that y'all are just doing to the culture and to everyone acting like this is all cool. I would have walked in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. I literally took hundreds of thousands of dollars and set it on fire and said, I would rather be on a whole nother journey in my life rather than count dirty money. Because that money is dirty. I got to still look my friends in the eye. Yo, when Shotty Sister call in, or Crippy, or Kuda, or anybody, Roe Murder, Mel, Mel Matrix, fucking hard, anybody. It goes on and on and on, ish. Everybody in there, tons of it, right? If they ever came out, I got to look at them and be like, yeah, man, I went back on tour with the bro, my fault. Like, no. I, I Like, no, that's not the way to do this. Niggas are losing their lives. Their parents, the same shit that Max saying, their moms is losing, their sisters, everything. And not just because they didn't want to own up. They were owning up to it. But this kid, instead of owning up with them, like, yo, we all fucked up. Now we all here doing this. We all did it. He's like, oh, I'm living life and I'm laughing. And he's going to troll and joke shit. And y'all are going to all think that this shit is comedy and funny when a nigga's laughing at other niggas' problems and shit like that that he pushed on the niggas. That's the sucker shit. It's clear as day. And I mean, I mean, you lost so much years in your life, like so much years in your life in jail. You've said it a million times. You wish you could do it all over. 
You get what I'm saying? You wish you could have teenage years, regular shit, regular high school shit. Wish you would have been out here for birthdays. Wish you would have just did regular shit. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's tough. Now you're doing what you're doing. You got this shit right. You A1 now? Yeah. I, I just feel like, I just feel like, yo, um, I don't know, bro. I just feel like, yo, at the end of the day, this all this shit is about is about. Ah, you know when you was young, right? When you were young, and when I was young, <coughs> there was plenty of times I was about to do some nut shit, some real dumb shit, some <laughs> corny shit, some goofball shit, even some okay. goofy shit. There was a lot of times I was just about to do it, and the older head be like, "Yo, come here, stupid, come here, come here. This is what you were about to do. You were about to do this, and this is what's about to happen." And I'll be like, "Oh shit, you absolutely right. My bad. You know what I'm saying?" And and from that day on. I never did it. It was always yeah. that 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 talk, that lesson was always in my head, and I always like, nah, that's not good. Now, so our job, my job, my job, being that I've been through all of this shit, being that I've been through prison, being I've been through all of this shit, my job is to tell another young person what is right and what is wrong. That's my job. That is my fucking job, right? I have to tell these motherfuckers, like, yo, listen. So when I'm making these posts. I'm not trying to like, you know, I don't give a fuck what the fuck. But what I'm saying is if I could talk to, if three kids is watching this shit right now and they be like, yo, Matt really says some real shit, bro. And really put in perspective exactly what this rat and shit means. I, I'm not, I'm not even going to join no gangs. I'm not built like that. I'm going to just do my thing over here. I'm never going to go over there. And then that means I did my job. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all I you really care saved, about. You saved, saved two, three kids. And that's all I care about. And if you look at two, two, you might just be like, oh, two, three kids. But I know if one person would have saved me from doing 10 years, if I could have made that, like, if somebody would have told me that, that's 10 years out of my life, bro. That's 10 years I will never get back. You know what I'm saying? That's 10 years. So if somebody could save me 10 years, 20 years, a, a life sentence, that's fucking, that's worth everything. That's all Agreed. I just got to say, bro. No, I'm not mad at anything that you had. I'm not mad at nothing. And and one thing that I wanted to read because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't comment back on it. When we went to the juvenile, the, the juvenile detention center, Mac brought me. Um, we drove a while. It was upstate. These young kids, bro, they just really, what a lot of times is that they don't have the support system. They, they really don't have the support system and either the right friends or the right big bros or the right uncles or even the right big homies. You get what I'm saying? And when they just had an opportunity to just hear it, I pray, like a couple of came to me and said, yo, bro, I promise you punch. Now that you told me this is how it works with YouTube and Spotify, yo, bro, I'm taking my music serious. I know when I was talking to them about some people could be managers, some people could be DJs, some could be writers. When we doing all of that and now they have a goal that they possibly could set, it, it, it felt like the world. And I told you a hundred times, like, yo, Mac, I am happy as shit that you brought me up there. I told all my team. No, you called, I told me, everybody. you called me. You was like, yo, bro, yo, like, thank you so much for bringing me up there. Because I, I didn't fucking, know. Yo, yo, you fucking did your thing. Like, you were natural at that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you really did I that appreciate shit. that. And, 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 yo, man, um, like, like, and you was like, yo, bro, that shit really, like, made my fucking week. Like, you know what I'm saying? And when you said that, I didn't, I'm know, like, I didn't think, I'm going to be real. I didn't think that they would have heard me. I've never been to jail. So I'm thinking, they like, this thing has never been to jail. He don't know us. So I felt like they wasn't going to hear me. It was totally wrong. Nah, they, they don't want to look up to the jail. They want to look up to the clock niggas. They want to look into the followers, right. the numbers. And then, then when they see me, they like, you is who I want to be. I said, if you want to be me, then nigga, let's get out of here. This is how we do A, B, C. This is how you go. And then so it was just, yo, bro, you see how. You see how impressionable th those kids are still impressionable. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Those kids, when they're like 15, 16, 17, they're still molding their brains. They're still becoming who they are. So Correct. when you went in there, when me and you went in there and we told them that real shit, that's the shit yeah. they need to hear. That's the shit yeah. they need to hear. Now, now let's say if a person is like 6'9 goes in there and talks to them. Let's say if 6'9 goes, what message is that? Even if he doesn't say the message, like, oh, snitch. You know what I mean? Even if he doesn't say that message, that message is still going to be there. It's going to be given to them. You understand what I'm saying? Correct. So now that message is like, it, he doesn't even have to say the message. It's just what I'm seeing. Okay, he did a gang. He joined the gang. And he told on everybody. And now he's doing fine. I could do the same thing. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the message. And that's not a good message. That's not a safe message. That's not a message you want your kids hearing. That's not a message you want your nephew, your nieces hearing. You don't want that message given to them, bro. You want the real message. Stay the fuck off the street. Don't do that shit. And if you do anything, you man up to it. If you do anything, remember that you're a fucking man. You got morals and fucking principles. If you choose Correct. the street, you stay in that shit. You stay in that shit. You don't try to be a, a citizen after that. You stay in that shit. And that's the message they need to hear. Because then when you give it to them like that, it's like, damn, I don't want to do that. Now, let me just stay over here. That's the message. Not the fucking, oh, you can do whatever you want. Just tell on everybody and you're going to be good. That's not the good message, bro. Yeah, you going to see you. No, you're right. If you choose the streets, stay in the streets. I'm not mad at it. And especially like kids just, I promise you, the reality at hand is like this. A lot of the people that are in gangs, a lot, and I know Mad Gang, I know it. I spoke to a bunch of the OGs. Be clear. Gang was a choice when there were less opportunities. There right. are drastically, drastically, I can't even yell. How much. There are so many more opportunities now. You could be famous and rich for playing video games. You could make your Instagram cool. You could do graphics. You could do so much right. more things. There's so much you more opportunities, y'all. Now, you know the gotta, gang shit you don't have to like, be, even if you're a rapper, even if you're a rapper, you don't have to be a gangster. You don't have to be, you don't have to join a gang and make and wave a flag around to, 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 to motherfucking shine, bro. Find a different thing. Don't be like everybody else. Do not do shit because everybody else is doing it. Do not do shit because you want to get a reaction. Do not do shit. Do shit because it's from your heart. And that's what's going to really, really, really shine, bro. Like, you don't have to be like everybody else. Everybody else want to be in the gang. You walk away from that shit. Do something else. That's the smart motherfucker. When I was a kid, Big and sense. I was like, yo, when I was a kid, and I was in gangs and doing that shit, there was always somebody like, nah, I'm not fucking with that shit. I'm do that was the smart motherfucker. Not the 10 people that fucking follow my stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? Not the 10 people that follow my dumb ass doing all this sucker shit, or doing all this dumb shit. It was the people that was like, nah. Nah, that shit does not look good. I'm going to come over here. Those are the smart people. So that's the message. Don't follow the crowd. Follow your fucking heart and follow what the fuck is right. And that's it. And I want to get off of this live right now because I'm feeling my blood pressure go up. <laughs> I love you, bro. Everybody that's on it, I'm going to add up Sway. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to add up. I, I, got, I, I, got, I, got, I got somebody I want to talk to right now, man. Listen, Yo, man. much love, my brother. Much love, That's a bro. million percent. Give me a break. You my man, A1. All right, bro. Yeah, like now listen. Yo, Sway, what's up? How you feeling, sir? What up, bro? Bro, I'm alright. Listen, I mean the topic is moving today. Yeah, I just had, I saw, you, I was trying to get on your shit earlier. I got my. I know when it was board. calm. Just China Mac get, came get in right and okay. spun it out of control. But I understand and I agree. Now you, somebody that I, I just got you up here. I'm going to ask specific, not to dig in too much. Yeah. Real murder is your dogs. Facts My no. dog. Free it's just your brother. Facts or no? Free is. I took there it is. Every these day. are your dogs. Two of these guys right now is in the indictment right now with 6 9 that are locked in jail right now. Facts or no? That's a fact. What's your perspective on what, what's the last time you heard from Roa Ish? What's their tone? What they talking about? How they feeling? Uh, I, last, I spoke to Ish uh, yesterday. I speak to Ish all the time. Like, really? What's up with Ish mentally? Ish mentally, he in a good space. He good. He, he, you know, sometimes. Like, well, you know, I never did jail time, so, but I kind of see from my guys doing it that sometimes it just settles in and it's like, I'm hit. You know what I'm saying? After you've been there for a year or two, Understood. niggas just start, you know what I'm saying? Just try to stay in good spirits, you know what I'm saying? So, but it's it's just good. I haven't got to spoke to um speak to Ro yet, so I'm waiting to speak to Ro, but yeah. this, shit is, this shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. I like, um, shout out China Mac, man. I don't know him personally. But I like what he be standing for and what he's staying on. He A1. I mean, lost. And the, the thing that people just don't understand with Mac, and I don't understand why people keep saying that, be like he's cloud chasing. <laughs> China Mac did more jail time than most of the gangsters in New York, bro. China Mac has literally been in and out of detention centers since he's nine, 10 years old. And he don't brag about it. So I don't understand why niggas. And then did 10 as an adult. Bro. More than 10. He did like 13 as an adult, mm -hmm. but he did 10 straight. So I don't be understanding mm. why niggas be like he's cloud chasing. Mm. The nigga has done more jail time than anybody that we think is tough. He don't think that shit is cool. He's, he's mm -hmm. borderline ashamed of it. He's like, yo, punch. I have to now use the rest of my life to go backwards and go fix these young niggas and go put in the pain with them so that they never right. become 
what I right. did. And I don't understand. Right. You can see me like trying to match Cloud Chase. But I'm like, are y'all done? Like, nah, they, when that, you're talking that, something that, genuinely about something mm -hmm. you went through and something that mm -hmm. rubs you personally wrong, you're not. It's not a Cloud Chase. People be so yeah. confused about yeah, this yeah. shit and not understanding <laughs> it. You know, I've seen people say, you Cloud Chase. And they, you're talking yo, about, I, and I've, I've literally watched you only talk about the experiences that you've directly had with them. They came, let me speak for you. They you came, die. they brought the rapper around you, and they said, yo, this is what's going on. You had one of the hardest records in the streets has felt and heard in a very long time. You get what I'm saying? Appreciate it's super crazy. Mm -hmm. Everybody, bartenders getting shot, strippers getting shot. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Everybody mm -hmm. is listening. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Uh -huh. The shock value. And they say, yo, let's get Takashi in the fucking video. Takashi's in the mm -hmm. video. You're fucking with him because the team is fucking with him. You go. It's mm -hmm. all cool. You go. You put it out. He posted up for 47 minutes. I know what went on. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I know what's up. Took your shit, but I was I was there. I was there. He posted it up, boomed it up, fifty thousand yeah. views. Thank you. And then now, mm -hmm. when you speak about anything, and now speak about how it affects, they say you clout chasing. Like, yeah. like you're not yeah. allowed to talk about your own life. Yeah. I'm trying I'm, to fuck I'm clout chasing when I'm it. really around the shit. I'm I'm here. I'm living it. I can't clout. Chase you're you're telling your own life. People don't understand this. They're not <laughs> grasping what's going on. They're not getting it. They they're just not figuring it out that you can't clout chase your life. You can't. You can't. You can't. It's your story to tell. This is crazy, you get what I'm man. saying? I'm they, not mad at you, man. Like, yeah, like crazy, I love what bro. you're doing. You go hard. Yeah. You work hard. You roll out music. You know, you mm -hmm. speak about it. You don't run from it, but you got other mm -hmm. shit going on like everybody yeah. else. And mm -hmm. I think that you're doing every single thing that you can do right now to be mm -hmm. active and be one of the the new young niggas in New York really, really doing yeah, yeah, do. yeah. I'm I was, not mad at um, you. I appreciate it, bro. You always show me love, man. You pulled up. You a nigga that be outside. You pulled up to my trenches, to the stomping grounds. Fuck with us. You done been in studios with us. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's always, it's always, it's always been love. You know what I'm saying? You know me. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I try to stay humble. I'm a humble dude. I don't really try to do too much for the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I get you. I really came up here. You know, I, I only speak about boy. You know, with us. You know, I'm, we could speak about. I get whatever, you. I get. Or, it's not even about that. That's. A, I, but I. You also have to have somebody to speak for you that says that right. you don't do what they say you do. So right, now right. I just so came, I this is how the story that. went. That happened to that, that happened to that. There's this on live, it's gonna hit the tube, it's gonna do what it does. And now it's there I in concrete that. to where niggas go, yo, this was A, and then that happened. That's just it. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. like, don't try to manipulate it, don't try to switch it, don't try to make you look crazy for it. You get what I'm right. saying? Um, right, but right. it's just something, sometimes niggas, like China Mac came on that live and was speaking for me. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Being like, yo, mm -hmm. we can't. He's like, yo, punch, you did some gangster shit. You had all of the bread in front of you. All you mm -hmm. had to do is just not talk. My YouTube mm -hmm. would have been out of control. Everything would have been good. I wouldn't have been yeah. sued. I wouldn't have went through nothing bad. That's a if fact. I just said, that's a fact. But I did. I up. went against all of that because my morals said that's not what to do. That's all. Mm -hmm. So now I went mm -hmm. this way. Everybody went mm -hmm. that way. It's cool. So now when I talk about this way, nobody be mad at me. I made my own decision to go this way. Mm -hmm. That's just mm -hmm. it. You get what That's I'm saying? Like, and, and, and you know fact. what I mean? Like, it, 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 it's, it's how it goes. It's how it goes. But, mm -hmm. you know, I ain't going to kill him. Mm -hmm. I was on here earlier today for nothing but positive yeah. today. I was talking about, when, I was talking about, like, like, you know, we was on it. I just want to talk about positive. Mm -hmm. We're going to go back to the positive. I'm not mad at it. Hey, yeah, you know I what I mean? Like, come up there to talk that. I, I want to get, I, I know we're going to get those good convos. I'm about to be up on live probably like every noon and really, really just talk that music shit because it's cool to get the clout. I'm going to do this. This right here, me and Mac, now you go boom, boom, boom. YouTube yeah. 100,000 views. I know how this works. I'm yeah, using yeah, already. I yeah. It's not that cool yeah. to me. This is going to go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'd rather have the conversations, though, that really affect somebody, that really get that shit moving. Let's talk business. I like that, Heineken. That's you get what that's I'm saying? Like, Heineken talk is talking business. to fact. I like that. Let's, let's get into business. whatever we're talking about. Everybody that's in here that's showing we, me out, man. I was letting Punch talk. I didn't want to cut him off. I no, no, but you're right. Talk. You're right. You're right. No, I, I know what it is. I, we know what it is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. That's sometimes a fact. you got to let people talk for you so that you don't look like you're saying the same narrative over and over and right. over. Right, right, right. You get right, what I'm saying? Right. I'm not mad right. at you. Talk to right. the people if you want before you get out of here, man. Uh, before I get out of here, man, I mean, <clears> since we on the topic of boy, um, y'all can go listen to Danny, man. If y'all ain't hear Danny, man, it's called Danny. It's not a diss record. I ain't saying fuck you, suck my dick to nobody. You know what I'm saying? We talking real grown man shit. And we and it's just official shit of what's going on if you don't know what's going on. But I really came up here to talk, man. 
I got something dropping, man. I got uh something dropping. I wanted to know what you think, like, because I just felt like it's a hard I thing. Drop during like, the I, like I told everybody, it's a hard I topic. Drop during the quarantine. I really, you know, and I get it. I tell everybody, I tell everybody, if you got a video, I say put it out. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Because you mm -hmm. at least more geared up. But if you don't got a video, I suggest to everybody to kind of hold off until you're mm -hmm. getting closer to a date where we're going to be able to hit the streets because yeah. it's too impactful to be in the clubs. It's too impactful to be physically outside to doing trendy shit, to being around mm -hmm. people. That's too right. beneficial to a career for you mm -hmm. to just ignore all of those parts and put out a song and be like, it's going to stream good. So I'm good. Yeah. You get what that's I'm saying? I don't think fact. that that's, that's enough to break a record. You that's get what I'm fact. saying? That's but, or, you do what you have been doing, which is giving them little freestyles to keep people baking. People, like, yeah, if I were you, yeah. you can really rap. Why not just Appreciate drop it. a freestyle every week? Every week. So yeah. A freestyle. So yeah. it don't matter what, what it does, but you're reminding yeah. people you can rap. Right. You that's get what it. I'm saying? And then you hold the original end. music for the time. Uh, yeah, that's a fact. I'm not this mad one, at that. This one I got, I got, I got a video for it. We're we going to let World Star premiere it. We're going to do all that. Yeah. yeah, um, it's called cool. it's up. Uh, I just felt like we this type of shit ain't gonna never happen in my lifetime. This quarantine co virus, everybody in the crib. <laughs> so I was like, yo, let me just drop. We never been here before, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what it do. We never been in this stage before in life, or whatever the case may be. I'm but, not mad at it. Looney Wright, if you you gotta you gotta take advantage of the yeah, quarantine. You feel me? But, um, GS9 Gino, my brother, what's up? What's up? What's up? That's all okay, I was Okay, I ain't mad at you. Listen, we gonna get a couple more up here. Like Swave, it's doing, number love. Yeah, I like what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. I'm trying. And, and stay, stay ten toes down. Yo, chain the Mac. I appreciate it, bro. Like I said, um, I don't know you personally, my G, but I gotta fucks with you. I'm, I'm gonna get in tune with you because I'll, I'll be seeing your page. I heard a few of your music, your songs. I fuck with you, my nigga. You feel me? So, uh, I'm gonna tap in with you. Yo, punch. I fuck with you. Keep doing what you doing. Yeah, I'll pass that in. I'll pass that in. And and y'all niggas do similar music, so it's gonna be A1. Yeah. <clears throat> we on to a punch, you gotta do more live like this. Looney, I appreciate that, man. I mean oh, yo, listen, what's going on with you? <laughs> we on tour? We on motherfucking tour. I'm being honest, bro. I'm being honest. Your, your well, phrase is getting out there, man. I see your yeah. comments every time. We on tour. If, if so listen, if anybody tries to steal your shit. I think it's pretty evident where it came from. Nah, that shit niggas know my body, man. We on tour. We on tour. What we that mean to you? You know, I'm on my you know I'm always on I'm my interview thinking. shit. <laughs> Listen, what that means to me is that I'm moving, man. I'm building excitement everywhere I go. I'm showing everybody that you don't have to be the top-notch person to be everywhere. Okay. You're supposed to be. That's you know what I mean? You. Every walk. Yeah, every concert, every show. <laughs> I'm yo, just here. Yo, just rap. Just rap. Uh, yo, you know what? A lot of people ask me if I, if I was interested in that. But, you know, like, know. putting shit together, bringing everybody together, making my Management, sense. event coordination, that's the way. I know that's your way. That's your lane, and you stay in it. And I think that that's always the best part. Because you don't, you you don't know try to be the extra. You be your own lane. That's a fact. If you don't, If you try to be the extra, then you know when you become the extra person who's pushing time away from the artist. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, what, yeah. what is it? What do you, how do you look at, let, let's talk serious. How do you look right. at quarantine, the culture of music in quarantine? Should artists be dropping or should they, or should they just be, what, what should, what should a brand new artist be doing right now from your eyes? Oh, busting his ass, man. Dropping mm -hmm. everything he got, man. Working as hard as he can. For the you believe right now still? Ever. Even in the quarantine, you feel like it just keep emptying it out? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know what it is? You ain't going to be able to save everything, man. So, okay. you know, we drop that okay. now. We don't know which one we're going to like more than the other. Okay. And maybe you okay. drop it later. Maybe you drop it now. But in all retrospect, if you're good enough to show your talent, it's going to show. It's going to pay the thing. You know what I mean? It's not going to go away. It's not going to just blemish. Even though yeah. some artists right now don't have the light like us. You know what I mean? To have the contacts yeah. to reach out to get, you know, these people that I you know like they shit. To get shit but. played, to get shit active, shit like that. Yeah. Uh, but so right now, you're not mad at that. You one of the first people that says to go crazy. Just drop everything. Yeah. So you feel yeah. like you feel like um with the video or without, do you feel like that affects it? Uh no, nah, not really, because there's so many ways of triller, 
there's so many ways of different ways of putting apps together to make your own fucking video straight from the house. <laughs> you make a whole TikTok video, you lit. <laughs> That's it. Nigga, yeah. like, yo, I seen mad little things running around there shaking it. They just shaking one cheek. That shit got TikToked up and it's over. It's gone. Shit through the roof. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Oh shit. Damn, she just shake one cheek. I'm not mad at it. Quarantine ass pussy. And then all of a sudden uh, it's a challenge. One cheek gone. challenge. That's it, nigga. <laughs> that, that's it. Nigga, it's all. It's all in popping. One cheek. Grandma, grandma, <laughs> shake that one cheek, baby. <laughs> that shake what your mama gave you kicks off. Okay, before I get out of here, because I think it's going to hit the hour. It's going to hit that hour mark. What, 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 what we got looking forward with you? I learned you always got the shows. Are you coming yeah. back strong? You still coming back with the shows? Still the same shit? Same convo? Same yeah. concerts? Oh, yeah. You know that, baby. It's only going to get better. Because, listen, right now I'm dealing with ABC. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm doing, a, I'm doing a gaming challenge where all the celebrity artists get to play 2K against each other. That's you know fine. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, of course, man. Come on. My own girl, Jada, she called me. She like, yo, Fluff, um, I got ABC Networks. They want to run a segment of basically one of your shows, like in, like in this sense. Like, I got the show. I was like, oh, Jada, you got it like this, like this? She was like, yeah, I already settled it up. I already did everything. And look, put you down. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, all right, cool. And then I got on it. So when after this, I'm going to text you everything. Money Bag Yo on there. Blue Face on there. J Herbo on there. Okay. Everybody play two games against each other. It's a charity for um COVID nineteen. Oh, that's fire! Oh yeah, baby, yeah, oh, baby. That's it's, fire. Gonna, it's gonna be aired on ABC right after the biggest celebrity on COVID nineteen um concert there is from home. Wow, mm. that's fire! You know your boy. You know your boy don't play. You know I'm, I'm everywhere. You I'm in that room. I'm not, I'm not and, and, and and that's the most important to stay active. Yeah, that's a fact. You know us. You, you, out, you outwork most of them. Tokyo, what's up? You know what I mean? You like, did you? Fuck is you talking about? Don't act like you don't work your body. Yo, listen, as much as everybody goes into like one zone in life, you had more life before that life. You know that, right? You know that, right? I, you might need, like, people need to remind them sometimes. I'll be lost. Like, nah, nah, you know what it is? You, 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 is that you know what it is? You can't even read the comments. They they all socialist from social media. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They not us. They ain't even been through the dust. They ain't have a life before life. They didn't know nothing about that until this social media shit start rising up and you start speaking up. So now they want to knock down your celebrity status because you chose to be bigger than what they say you are. Nah, yeah. nigga, you keep going. You can't even you tell the nigga suck a dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you just tell a nigga the truth. Nigga, like, you a bozo, nigga. Like, you be like, yo, son, everybody in the comments right now, niggas is straight kiss your ass, bro. They see you on the motherfucking street. They see me, they stop me to take pictures all day. I'm like, nigga, I'm not your family member. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> like nigga, you, you ain't seen your uncle fluff. Like, this is me. Like, yeah. now I'm a regular person. And like, yo, oh my God, I'm the only one in America. But, if they see me and do that, and I'm not really hitting YouTube like you, I'm not really in the mainstream like you. Imagine how much ass kissing you. Oh man, I, mean, it gets, I get I get a lot of love outside. I don't. Care. It, it's the toughest part about everything is that, and this is the real shit that I gotta say. And I want. I hope it don't clip. The toughest part about everything is that I really be pushing out information. Information is the most valuable thing the world has to offer. Is information. I give out information every single day. Information to artists, information to managers, DJs, anybody. Information. And then they still find the balls to be like, fuck it. I be like, that's how I know that they're ignorant. I'm like, nigga, I'm giving out information. Yeah. Want people to be better and get further. Information. Yo, bro, when I was coming up, I did not have the information. That's why oh, no. I'm not bigger than I am. I'm going to be bigger as I continue to grow every year. My brand, my status, my, my bread, everything grows. But realistically, bro, we did not have information that we possess now. So what I do is I give it out. Everybody, listen, this is how you get to a label man. This is how you blow an artist. This is how you do A and B and C. And then I go and I boldly speak against the machine sometimes. Nigga, I ran at Funkmaster Flex dissed me, and a lot of DJs got dissed by Funkmaster Flex, and they tucked their tail. Funkmaster Flex dissed me, and I created a total onslaught for his ass and did not let go for 30 days. 
And I show niggas, don't be scared of the machine. If your point is accurate, run at the machine. And that's mm. exactly what we did. And I feel proud of it. And Fluff has yeah. been around everything. Fluff, if y'all don't know, Fluff has yeah. been around with the 6 9 She's been around with after it. He's been around before. He's been around this actively. Yeah. Not a yeah. one-day thing. Not a pop-in. I'm talking about actively around. So with this, yeah. with this, with this, with this straight up and down, everybody got to understand that we have to value people who have information. When you have information yeah. and someone's giving it out, value that person. Share the information. Oh. Allow that to be the thing that goes viral. I hate that I, out of this whole shit, like Tokyo just wrote it. This is so interesting. Cool. This is not going to be the part that goes viral. Trust me. We're going on YouTube. This whole convo is going to be there. We know it's going to go viral. We know what it is. And that's the problem is that the kids and the masses, they want the spoon fed shit so often that they forget that there's value in the information that they're overlooking. Mm. I, I, see, I know you're rocking with me, but you know, I'm, I'm on my Sir, I, I got, You know what it is? I got, I got a whole lot of questionnaires for life, and I just don't even question myself anymore because I know yeah. I need to move. You okay, know what I mean? Yeah. I can't, oh yeah, OP, what up? You know what I mean? Like, I got to move in a certain way. Like, I look at certain people, and I'll be like, yo, why should I give you that information if I get paid from others who truly to pay me you. for that information? I get, I get you. And then I give it to the ones publicly in my friendship on some, yo, listen, damn, you a brother of mine. Let me show you. Let me show you how to get down with the get down. And, they and you know the first thing? Nah, they, they just want to take it from you. They want to stab you in the back. It's weird. They, they don't want to listen to you, and they like. Then they then they want to op you, and you turn around and op them like, yo, listen, I'm gonna op out of this whole situation because you ain't moving right, and I'm a special person. I don't move like that, so I'm not gonna be around certain things. They be like, oh man, I'm in my feelings, nigga. Go cry to your mother, nigga. Your yeah. mother gonna feed you that bottle and then put them pampers on you. I'm a grown ass individual. I should not be holding people's hands if they're not my kids. So you know what? I don't treat niggas like young boys. I'll be like, nah, we ain't going to do that. You're a person, whether you're a lady, you're a man. And people be like, oh, I bet. Say no more. I need all the information I can get out of you so I can side to the side and do my own thing and not make me proud. Yeah. They want to take what I got. Yeah. I, I'm teaching you this so you can have your own. Yeah. Not so you can take what I got. So yeah. you can slap to the side and make me less proud of you. I need to be proud of you as a person. To say, yeah. damn, I built into that. I don't want no credit for that, but I like to see that. You know what I mean? I dig. I dig. It's, 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 it's a tough thing, man. Fluff, you're wise. You get what I'm saying? You're not, you're, not 20, you're not one of the young niggas going on. You got wisdom. And I think that the problem is, is that a lot of people, they just don't, they don't take in the information when it's presented to them to understand that, yo, this is valuable intel that I really shouldn't be giving up. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Nigga, you a mastermind. A lot of niggas don't know you a mastermind. You created. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of shit that you know that we went through, you understand what I'm saying? A lot of shit had to be procrastinated through the mind. Like, it wasn't just, you know what I mean? Like, some shit we just thought of and was like, oh, yeah, well, we're going to be this, this, that, and the third. We manifest on what we did. And the only way yeah, to manifest was, is to be smart. Yeah, that was so created. That, a lot of everything was created. They they can't man, believe it. They, they can't believe it. They can't believe it because it was it's it's something you know. Every you gotta understand, bro. LeBron James, like I'm not even trying to be funny with this, but I just need people to. LeBron James at one point was just a little dot in his mom's stomach and comes out to be the best basketball player. Heavy Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, these people, ideas. Rappers that we see at one point, Jay Z was regular. At one point, Nas was regular. Now, nobody hear what I'm saying wrong. Ideas and development start at a very small point, and some people yes. grow these ideas, and the ideas are so good that it swells up and swells up to these humongous talents. And 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 and, and you know what? Moment. Prime example, and I'm gonna tell you somebody who nobody really sees as a celeb yet, 